Hello and welcome back to a game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we are currently trying to pass a law that will allow us to take some land from the Vale. Uh, here we have the voters. Uh, it doesn't say how they're going to vote though. I assume people will vote for us because we have a most we have no malcontents, which is what I'm hoping here. We will appoint a High Admiral who will vote for us. Like Ragnar of Orkmund is our kin. We'll maybe appoint, appoint him just now and then maybe he will also vote for us. We'll see. Should be a yes, basically. It is warming as winter comes to an end in Harlow Hill. Good. Let's see how this realm authority vote goes. Three on our side. One of your trade galleys finally made it back to port today after being delayed for several days by a storm. Sadly, it was covered the ship's entire cargo had been spoiled by seawater and rendered worthless. A total loss. Oh no. Weak claims can be pressed. Okay. Uh, your grace, my scheme in Harlow Hill has borne fruit. I've discovered a plot where Lannis Serpentail seeks to kill Iron King Roderick Hardhand. Fantastic, we finally found out about it. Uh, I wish to impr- We can't imprison her. Why not? Why can we not imprison you? Now we can, yeah. Okay. She's imprisoned. We'll work out what to do with you in a minute. We need a new captain of the fleet. I guess we'll bake that Tristan. The Tristan, sorry, of Nettleback. He could train children in Harlow Hill. Perfect. Megan of Lady Megan's Host has served the Lordship of Grey Gals from Theoden Santagar. Okay. Uh, right. There was also a child I wanted to find. I don't know how I'm going to find her though. It was something. Her name was The. She's being educated by Thea, I think. Uh, was it Margot? Uh, it wasn't Margot. Oh dear. I'm trying to find the random people. Was it on this line of the house? Uh, I don't know if it was this line of the house, but it might have been. Uh, I don't th How did- I didn't mean to close any of that. Okay, at least it stayed open. I don't think it was any of them. Was it this side of the house? Basically, I'm looking- Basically, we had- uh, I had to change my education focus on them, but I think I may have lost them forever. Oh, yes, it was one of his bastards, I think. Ray! There we go, Ray. We need to change our educator now, she's six. To somebody who is uh, Ironborn. I think we're going to go for a drowned man. And that way, she, with her heritage focus, she should become the right stuff. If I've got this right. Anyway. Queen Layla of Westeros has revoked the High Lord of Harrenhal from Lord Balin the Fifth of Pike. How is he still? How is he the Lord of... Oh, right. Lord Balin the Fifth of Pike is a, a greensmith. Okay, of course. Wait, he also holds the High Lord... I didn't notice that was in Westeros. Oh, I thought it was underneath us for some reason. Okay. That's fine. Queen Layla of Westeros revoked the Lord of Darry from Lord Tristan of Wayfarer's Rest. We're still waiting on this law to pass, though. One against. 4-4. Four, four. Uh, the Iron Isles is in a state of war. We send ravens to the Great Lord, rallying them to Crown's defence. To the tainted pirate Roderick, may your humour is rot in your living body. This is a formal declaration of war. Our army shall meet on the battlefield. Yo, Yunkai, this is not the time. Can we land here? Oh, okay, go get on the boats. I forgot we never actually got... Okay, they've rejected the Institution of Limited Realm Authority. No. We're not allowed to vote on it again. Oh, this is just... This is unfortunate. I, I guess we could... Can we get... A uh, child to be a hostage to a foreign power. Okay. Let's see whether we could perhaps get her heir to be um, drowned god or something. I don't know. Queen Layla of Westeros revoked the Lordship of Claw Isle from Lord Tristan of Wayfarer's Rest. I would quite like the ability to revoke titles, but okay. Lord Ragnar forced everyone to join their factions. What's your faction? Foreign Loyalists. Perfect. I like that faction. Maybe we'll just keep her in prison, as in uh, the lady. And then whatever her name is, Rialta. And that'll probably solve the problem. Uh, Alanis, uh, we need a trial for you. Definitely. Uh, Dunvar, you're staying under our control for just now. And you are still sickly, so you might just die. It will put you under house arrest to make you have less chance of dying. There we go. And Rialta, um... We just take her as assault wife. That would, uh... That would definitely... No, that's an option. 
Alana Serpentails demanded trial by combat and summoning her champion to Harlow Hill. Okay. Oh yeah, the other thing I needed to check, now that we have people on the boats, is Viscera still here? Yes. Okay. Oh, and he is dead. He died comatose in bed. After one night with uh, Viscera. Okay. That is uh, definitely odd, but fine, fine. They got Ty Rosh to join the war? No. Wait. Oh, they're just hostile to us. Okay. A month has passed and Lance has failed to find a champion for a trial by combat. She must stand trial before the court. Okay. Fine. Alana Servantil's demand trouble for the court, which Master Stefar shall oversee to ensure justice is served. She begins to present as defense, but some decent arguments were made. Many at court seem to sympathize with her. Master Stefar stood before the court and aggressively questioned the accused. Many at court were convinced by his arguments. They again, many seemed unimpressed. A verdict has been reached. Master Stefar proclaims Alanis of House Serpentil is guilty. Well, we are a family person and we don't want to be a kinslayer, so I guess we will uh, exile her to the free city of the Iron Isles. Wait. Exile her from this free city of the Iron Isles, who's now in Hammerhorn. Okay, I think that's a fair punishment. An architect has been brought before your court, proposing a construction of a new castle in Lansport for less resources uh, than such a massive project would normally require. Before you can give him an answer, Ethan Wilson, your master court, whispers in your ear, I know of this man. I believe we can trust him. We'll build the castle, of course. Do it. The child lacks a child, uh, a childhood focus. This is Othel Pike, a Westerman. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go faith here to see if that will convert you. And when we'll in a year, we'll try and remember to go back and uh, actually get him educated by a drowned man or something. Okay. Let's head over here. Lords of Westeros have approved the institution of low faith authority law. Okay. Right. Let's land in Yunkai. All of our dragons. Ragnar of Orkment died uh, of gonorrhea. Lady Ravella is no longer our spy master. Okay. And uh, we've inherited the city of Orkment. He is also no longer our high admiral. Right. Let's get back to our dragons in Yunkai. Let's land them. I know that to you it's not getting back to, but I had, I had to go away for a second. Oh wow, that was a really quick cap. That was a really quick uh, siege of Yunkai, actually. Like, even quicker than I originally suspected. Grace, I'm pleased to report I've captured some high value prisoners after a successful siege of Yunkai. I hereby turn them over to you for your judgment. Oh wow, that is a lot of people. Well, some of them got us the war score we needed. We will, of course, offer peace. We'll enforce our demand. We'll head back. Okay, so, look at all those prisoners. Let's uh, let the war go through. Your drowned man, Eldrick, has offered to go th through your newly acquired domain titles and distribute them. I'm fine, we'll, we'll work out in a minute. Great powers have end subsided for now. That veil should come back underneath us in a at any moment. There we go. We'll reappoint our old council, although we don't have a High Admiral, as the High Admiral is currently dead. I don't suppose that we can change this, not for another... Oh, not till August. So we can try again in August. So actually we'll keep her... we'll keep the Lady prisoner until then. We'll try again. Right. Lord Fallon of the North March is at the High Lord of North March from Lady Mar... From Lord Maribald of the North March, as the Pharaohs have taken land from the Tarlo. Harleys. Septum Aneron of the Faith of the Seven Revolts has declared the Faith of the Seven Revolt against Iron King Roderick Hardhand on Iron King Roderick Hardhand. Faith of the Seven Rebels have risen up in Hard Vale, led by a set militant Septum. If not swiftly crushed, revolt could spread like wildfire. You Grace, for some time now, I've been an employee of Lord Master Donal, but I seek a better station. Uh, I humbly request to join in Harlow Hill, so I may serve you. I'll ask in return a small recompense. Um, of course we'll accept Eldest Ironfoot, because he is married to our half-sister. And, uh, you know, he is of the Ironfoot, you know, group. And we want to make them like us a little bit more than they currently do. Because they really don't like us a lot. Uh, where is our... where are our boats? Because we actually need to... Is this the revolt? This is the revolt. Perfect. That's where we're headed anyway. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say dragons live once more and that Jakar Megar now rides Dracaris. 
Dra Drakar X into battle. No, I'm fine. I'll go through my own titles. Just give me a minute. <laughs> Just trying to get over here first. Your prisoner, Fendal Mo Gaz Gazkuz, has a request an audience with you. Upon meeting with him before the court, you hear he's offering to pay his own ransom personally. Yes. Uh, we'll let her rock. I'm only I'm not dealing with them right now because I want to um, sort out the stuff in August so that we can revoke the lady's title and then we can just click ransom all prisoners. Uh, Lord Reaver Jasper of the North Weld is served the High Lord of North Weld from Lord Geralt of Newkeep. So the Linderleys have taken land from the Herseys. Okay. Your Grace, I believe uh, Hazara... You know what? He's offering to pay a ransom for someone. We'll accept it. No, I'm fine. This is the third person who's come to us and said, Do you need help with your titles? No, we really don't need help with our titles. Thank you for offering. Ask for help with managing. No, I know how to manage my titles. Thank you. I'm trying to do other things first. Serio <laughs> Baelish uh, died at age 67. And he died in the court of Lord Commander Danwell Priestator. Okay, where are you headed? You're headed to the bloody gate. Your grace, I believe this person has been in your, your custody for too long. Perfect, we'll get some more gold. Oh, our mansion's been built. Fantastic. Lord Paramount Vayan of the North has usurped the title Lordship of Silverreed from Quent uh, the Wicked. Also, uh, since when did Vayan become the owner of the North, House Overton? He's also Lord Protector Vayan of the North, which is some title. How did that happen? Uh, Vayan just has it. It was like, Quentin the Wicked inherited, and then Vayan just gets it. Oh, wait, he also, oh, never mind. It's in this very pop-up we just got. So he won his war against the tyranny of the king and has taken over. Vayan has taken the north. Well done. Well done. Okay. Well, we'll continue chasing this 400-man army. That should be it. Victory. Uh, he's offered to pay his own ransom. Of course, we'll accept for just now. Uh, we will enforce our demands. Cool. Dismiss our boats. We will dismiss our men. Cool. We are now back to where we should be. We imprison Torgrum. Don't need to. We imprison Master Ethan. Don't need to. Imprison Margaret. Uh, don't need to. Right. We need to give somebody our title of Orkment. Dangerous faction, increased council power. Um, Lady Sarah. I, I don't think we want to be doing that with... You, I don't think you want to be in factions. We need a High Admiral. Um, how about make Urin Lord of Stone Tree our High Admiral? There we go. And now we need the Lord of Orkment. Now, we are a family person, so I would suggest that we should probably give this to a family member. Josran, when he comes of age, is an option. Um, like, is there any family members we can... All we could do is we can actually search this very easily. We can just go... Serpentail. Looking for a man. There we go. And that actually pretty much solves it. So we can give it to Stefar, the Red Reaver. He is a cripple. Um, okay, um, he's really the only option. Stefar is our only male, kind of, of age child, of, of age person we can give this uh, title to. We'll give him the city of Orkment. He should be happy. Uh, he still doesn't like us, even though we gave him a title. Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll see how he feels about us in a bit. Mandister Yorko of Mir accepted Princess Tien the Unchaste Peace Offer. Dorn won. The Mirish Slay won the Great Desert. Okay. We're almost to August. Which will allow us to do the... Um, allow us to do the Law Vote. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to go. Let's have a look at our council. It might not go the best. We may have to pay for some favours to push this through. I'm okay with that. Let this person rot. The castle you commissioned in Landisport has been finished. Its construction required even less resources than originally planned. 
The surplus of building materials has been sold and the gold placed new coppers. Establish the castle of gold hallow. Oh, perfect. We got a free castle, which we are now instantly going to give away. Um, you're no longer content to rest on your laurels. The problems facing your realm are legion. Clearly no one can fix them but you. We have gained the trait ambitious. Cool. Um, we need to give away this title. Who are we going to give it away to? Uh, do we have a friend? We have no friends. Okay. How about someone on our council who we like? Uh, how about Tristan of Nettlebank? We kind of like him. He um, he really likes us. He's quite a formidable fighter. He's you know generally pretty good. We'll get we'll grant him the land of title, Castle of Gold Hallow. There we go. We can appoint them again, can't we? Yeah. There we go. We can go train children over here. Perfect. Uh, I think that's exactly what we want. We do have a lot of weak claims we could press on many high lordships, but we're leaving it for just now because we're trying to get all of this stuff sorted. Desmond Pike. Um, well, level of education, I guess. You know, basic equipment. I don't know who he is, so basic equipment. And his education's gonna be military. There we go. Almost August. There we go. Uh, Aries Gardener is now known as the Beggar King. Okay. Laws. Wait, what date is it? 19th of August. Okay, we'll wait till the 19th of August. Perfect. We now vote, right? Oh. On any law other than this law. Okay. Well. Interesting. Not... I, you know, I would very much like to have this law, but I guess if it's not going to happen, what we can do is we can release Rialta. We force an ed- I think if we release her for a favor, we can force an educator. If we release her, do we get a favor? We only get opinion. Hmm. Yeah. We can't buy a favor either, because you'd say no. Uh, we could take her as a salt wife. Definitely an option, and that would then mean that Marwyn would inherit straight away. Which is fine, I guess. Okay. We'll take her as a salt wife. Wait, where's that option? Is that option not there anymore? Am I missing it? Am I blind? Is it in this one? Salt wife, salt wife, salt wife. I must be missing it. Right? No, 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 no. It was there before, though. I'm very confused. Um. Okay, so we can't imprison. Like, we can't go and take her away. Is there some? Is there a reason for this? Try to see whether anything's changed in her side. I know what we're chased, but I don't think that's a, that stops salt wives. Um. Can we do it on someone else? We can take you as a salt wife. Okay, maybe she became too old or something? I don't think that should be a thing. Hmm. We could ransom her. I don't know. We could just exile her. I guess we're going to have to just exile her, which is kind of bad. I mean, we don't want to... We could also just execute her as well. She made make the veil unhappy at us. No, let's just execute her. Ah! <sighs> the phone doesn't ring for hours, and then the moment you start recording, it keeps ringing. Apologies for all these uh, little cuts that are happening through this episode. So, we have executed her. Lord Paramount Marwyn has taken over. He is not happy because we executed her, but actually this is probably what we would do. This is probably what Roderick would do. Right. I was trying to angle to take the land for ourselves, but we cannot do that currently. Um, rest the prisoners. No, I guess we'll try and ransom them away. Uh, oh, except we have Dunavar in our thing, so we can't ransom them away because Dunavar, we want to educate ourselves, so we have to do it manually anyway. Okay. You, um, I guess we'll execute. You will take assault. You don't will take anyone who's eligible as a salt wife as a salt wife. Everyone else will just execute. There we go. Execute. 
Um, just refresh the list there. Um, oh, that was what I meant to do. We want to execute. Yep, execute. What age are you? Perfect, salt wife. Execute. Uh, you are of an age as well. Perfect. Do it. Execute. Execute. Uh, what age are you? You're 55. Execute. You're male. And you are of an age. There we are. Perfect. Right. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. I do not know, you know, where we were in the recording. Uh, but hopefully we were near the end. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.